us! We found a turtle in the road. Whatever will we do? What should we do, Vanderbilt? Well, you can come to me. That's good. <laughs> no, this is not normal turtle behavior. Hi, guys. Welcome to the North Carolina Zoo. I'm Nikki, your community education coordinator. And we're celebrating World Turtle Day, which is May 23rd. So, Mr. Vanderbilt here is going to show us how to safely cross the road. Hitch a ride on, on somebody's shoe. <laughs> but not on your foot. So, how you tell. So, if you find a turtle like this in the road, that shell is pretty hard, but it's not too, not hard enough to protect them from a car. So we want to get them out of the roads before they get run over by cars. So what you do is if you find a turtle in the road, you put him in the direction that he's facing. Now he's obviously facing my feet, <laughs> so he's not facing a good direction. So let's say, let's pretend for a minute that he's facing that way. <laughs> so what you would do is you would pick him up very gently. Hi, buddy. And go do, 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 do. And you walk them safely. Make sure you guys don't get hit by the car. And put them on the other side of the road in the direction he's facing. <laughs> he's too, he wants my feet. <laughs> he doesn't want anything over there. Because box turtles have a really good instinct. There's something over in that direction that they really want. And so if you were to pick them up, put them back the opposite way, he would just turn around and go right back over the road or to my feet in this case. So, so it's safe to put them in the direction that they're going. But you know what? When you find boxers in the wild, they're not going to be like Vanderbilt here, who obviously does not mind people at all. What you're going to see is this. So you're going to have a closed up box turtle, which is why they get their name, because box turtles have this cool hinge right here that lets them close up just like a box. And so if you notice, the hinge isn't centered. It's up more towards the top, towards his head. So where the, the hinge is, if it's closest to his head. So if you see the hinge here, you'll know his head will be coming there. So you find it like that, you're gonna put it in that direction, not the other way. And that's how you protect these really cool box turtles. And this is our state, North Carolina state reptile, is our Eastern box turtle. And Vanderbilt has a very interesting story. So the reason he's so friendly and used to people, he actually had an injury. We're not sure if he got hit by a car or what happened, but you might notice he's actually missing the part, top part of his beak. Or his, and so it makes it hard for him to eat. So he wasn't able to be released in the wild because we have to chop his food up really, really small in order for him to be able to eat his food. And so you obviously somebody can't follow him around in the wild and do that. So that's why he's with us. And he's a pretty awesome ambassador for teaching us how <laughs> or not, how to save our box turtles in the wild. All right, give him a wave, Vanderbilt. Bye, say goodbye. All right, guys, enjoy your World Turtle Day. We'll have to stay safe and we'll take care. Bye-bye.